My wife asked me last night, why was it I couldn't even hang out with her? And I told her, I'm like, babe, I'm sorry. I had to be up all night. I was waiting for Sentry's call. <laughs> that Sentry, though, never did call. Total tool. Thought we had something. How you doing, guys? My name is Paul, and if you enjoy terrible humor and even worse gameplay, be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more Division content. You can fast travel back here anytime you like. So, Sentry's Call. Now, this thing is absolutely phenomenal, and honestly, I'm going to use the words. I know, I know. Crucifixes, guys. Overpower. It truly is. You could probably cut this thing in half and it would still be better than the rest of the gear sets out there in terms of damage dealing capabilities. So let's see what this thing has. If you have two pieces of this equipped on your person, you get 30% headshot damage. Great for PvP, great for PvE, obviously phenomenal for marksman rifles, but it's still badass on any weapon whatsoever. Then... With three pieces of this, you get 20% damage to elites. This is really, really cool. Obviously, only impacts NPCs. And if you were to couple this with the two-piece striker set, that's a lot of hurt feelings on the NPC side of things. And with four pieces of this, you unlock my favorite talent, Stalker. That sounded horrible coming from my mouth. I am not a stalker, guys. I promise. Headshots mark the enemy, increasing the damage inflicted on the target by 15% for a duration of 10 seconds each. A target can receive up to three marks. It's very interesting with the way that the timer resets on it, the fact that this talent actually impacts other people. It's more of a debuff versus an actual personal buff. I want to explain what this thing is all about. Now, there are two rules you need to understand before we go any further. Getting a headshot on this restarts the counter. As you know, it's a 10 second long duration. So if I go ahead and I headshot somebody one time and the counter starts running down, 10, 9, 8. If I get another headshot, we get the second stack and it restarts back at 10. Even after you have all three headshots activated in the 45% debuff on that enemy, every headshot after that will continue to reset the timer, making it last until that person is dead, or of course, you fail to drop them. And that is ridiculously strong. Watch right now as you're seeing on your screen. Watch the damage scale, 295, 330k. And you'll see that just each stack, it just starts scaling and scaling and scaling until I'm hitting a very large percentage of damage on just a tank. We're talking hundreds of thousands of damage on top for marksman rifles. For even submachine guns, we're talking tens of thousands of damage on top. And this is huge. The fact that it's so easy to register and activate, the fact that it can stay up for entire fights for PvP and PvE makes it the best way to deal damage in general in this game. It's phenomenal. So when you would normally hit a player after all the reductions are out of the way for about 5,000, now all of a sudden, you're hitting them for 7,500. This is what it has to offer. Basically, what this translates to is for every two shots you shoot, you're doing about three shots worth of damage when this full debuff is activated. And it is, in fact, in my opinion, a debuff. It's not necessarily making your character 45% stronger. It's making the person that you target and mark 45% weaker, more vulnerable to other people. And this does impact other people. So if I'm the only one running sentries in a full group of four, and I headshot a named enemy three times, he is now going to take 45% more damage, not only from me, but from the rest of my group. So that is just monumental. So it's 45% more damage from me, and from my buddy Phil, and from Steve, and from that fire hydrant I met back at the fucking wing place. Everybody does that much more damage. We're talking 200% more damage between four people. That's too much. This is too much. Why you do this? So this is effectively going to change the meta. People are going to start dying really fast now. It doesn't matter if you're building tank anymore. Guess what? I've got sentries. And the fact is that it actually notifies the rest of your people. You can see when you actually land a stack with a little arrow inside of a blue square, it'll show if you have one, two, or three stacks. It's the identifier. And when somebody is marked, your entire team can gang up on that specific person. It's a great way to initiate a rogue fight. It's just super valuable in general, and it's so strong. Not only does it help you deal damage, but because you're dealing that much more damage, you're also saving that much more ammo, too, because you're wasting less bullets to take down the targets. And that doubles as a really, really cool side effect. This gear set complements group play. It's not really good for the solo player. I'm not saying it can't be good, but I'm saying you're better off with the Nomad in general. Just the survival aspects are great. But if you've got friends over with the sole purpose of deading people, yeah, you guys should probably wear the same outfits. I.e. this exact gear set. I mean, when you're dealing with group fights, your only goal is to PvP or even just PvE in general. More damage to all the NPCs is great. It's lots of damage overall, and this is hands down the best set in the game. No contest. 
So this is the verdict, guys. Go out there, collect the sentry set. The striker set doesn't hold a light to it in terms of damage output. The tacticians is phenomenal, but again, you don't want an entire group running that. Usually one or two people, max, unless you're completely trolling with BFB and stuff like that. But the sentry set is ridiculously strong. And it is phenomenal in almost every situation. As for how you unlock these things, there's going to be a list down in the description below to show you exactly how and what activity you can do to complete and unlock all the pieces of armor and the corresponding levels. And it's absolutely phenomenal. And hang on, guys. Oh, that's Sentry right now. Hang on. Hang on. I just have to call him back. Anyways, that's what it is, guys. So this set puts the awesome in awesome. It's great. It's a wonderful thing. It will probably be nerfed. So get out there and experience it in its prime Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the gameplay, be sure to leave a thumbs up and support the channel. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys around. Also, for the other ones curious about the other inferior sets, those will be located in the description below. Take care, guys.